In this video, I'm going to show you how to exclude hidden or filtered rows in your formulas here in Google Sheets. So in my example data set right here, what I'm trying to do is to get a total of my sales after I have applied a filter and I've hidden some rows. So first, before we do that, let's remove our filter and expand those rows and get the total for our range. So we're going to use the sum function. Go ahead and type it in. Select your range and press enter. So that's a total of our range right here. Now, if I select it, we'll also have the sum at the bottom right corner right here. If you make a comparison, they are the same. So now what I want to do is to get a total after I have applied a filter. Let's go ahead and apply our filter. Select the filter icon on the right side of your cell. Then let's say we're going to exclude this value right here. Click on OK. And now it's been filtered out. But if we go to our sum right here, it stays the same, even though our cell range is also the same. And one of our rows has been filtered out. So I've already applied a filter to my range. Now, if I try and get the sum right here, select that range and press enter, it will still give me the same total. So how do we get the new total with the filtered applied already? Well, we're going to use a function called subtotal. Let's remove this one, start a formula and type in subtotal, select it right here. Now we're going to find more about our formula by scrolling down and clicking on learn more. So in our formula, you'll see that we have a function code and our range. So you'll see the same formula right here and our function codes, which are numbers represented by different functions that we can use within our formula. So the one that we're looking for is right here, which is sum. And the function code for this is the number nine. So let's put that in comma and then select our range. If we press enter, now we have a new total, which excludes that filtered data. So if we select this range right here and go to the bottom right again, we will have the same value with our total right here. So that was the subtotal function with a function code of nine. Now, what about our hidden rows? So let's say I'm going to hide row number nine right here, right click on it then hide row. Let's try and do the same function of subtotal with a function number nine with the hidden row and the filtered data. So again, equal sign, type in subtotal, select it right there, function code number nine again for sum, comma, and select your range. Press enter and it will still give you the same results even though we have a hidden row. So basically, the subtotal nine function code still includes hidden rows, but excludes filtered data. So this time we're going to use another function code, which would be, let's start our formula first, subtotal. Now for a function code, we're going to put in the number 10, which is a prepend that we add to our functions to ignore hidden rows. So this is a modification that we are going to add in our function code. So after our prepend 10, we're going to add our single digit, which is nine for sum, comma, and then our range. So this is excluding the filtered data and the hidden rows. If we press enter, now we have our new total right here. So again, if we select this range, we'll have the total at the bottom right which is the same as we have right here. So that's our sub total one zero nine. And there you have it. That's how to exclude hidden or filtered rows in your formulas with the use of the subtotal function here in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.